Well guys, it's officially October. You know what that means. It means either A, people use it as an excuse to give their friends a good old scare, or B, they use it as an excuse to act like complete psychopaths. <laughs> Now, due to the fact that it's October, I thought it was only fitting for me to do a creepy pasta webtoon. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> creepy pasta webtoon. <laughs> Honestly, there is a surprising amount of them out there, so I think I'm just gonna read a bunch of them this month. Anyways, the webtoon I'm looking at today is called Jeff's Disorders. They just had to capitalize orders, didn't they? <laughs> Now before I get onto this webtoon, I found out that the creator of this webtoon has gotten herself into a little bit of controversy. Now I do not want to get into that, I am a reaction YouTuber, not an explaining YouTuber. Anyways, I'm looking at the summary and it just screams I've only read creepypastas. And oh no, why is the genre romance? <laughs> Whatever, you guys know the drill, 10 chapters, let's get into this. <laughs> We start off this webtoon with some chick trying to apply for a job at a mental asylum. We're barely into this webtoon and they've already given me something to make fun of. Bruh, out of all the jobs you could have gotten, this was your first option? You're honestly just asking to be jumped by Jeff at this point. She gets rejected since she has no experience with this sort of thing, and she's offended. Lady, you should be thanking this man with your life right now. It's implied you have zero experience with this sort of thing, and you still wanted to get into this immediately. And judging from the genre of the webtoon, I don't think I want to see you get in the same room with these guys. Out of nowhere, she notices that she can't find her way out. Oh, would you look at that? You're not even working there and you're already screwing up. I swear to you, this webtoon better not show her being a prodigy and curing a demented serial killer. As she's trying to get out of the facility, a man who I'm assuming is Jeff is following her. Jeff catches up to her and he asks her if she's... mobile? I have no idea what this means. Yo, do you know what this means? Not a clue. Jeez. Well, I think there's only one thing I can do now. Oh man, what a good day it is to be Jeff the Killer. I sure do wonder how many lonely teenage girls I can seduce today. This is what you get for making me confused! Jeff begins to intimidate the crap out of this chick. Jeff then basically tells her that he won't kill her. No, the implication was not clear. I ain't ever hear anyone ask me if I'm mobile, and if I do, I think I might go on a rampage. We then cut to Jeff and the chick in her car. She then starts wondering if this is a prank, and you know what? I'd probably be thinking that too. Some people these days have been committing straight up crimes and calling them pranks. She asks him where she should drop him off, and Oh gosh, why are their hearts there? <laughs> Jeff then looks at her lap and he sees her resume. Alright, now two things. One, why is her resume so dang empty? <laughs> this is not a resume. This is what I thought a resume looked like when I was five. Girl spends a grand total of three seconds making her resume while everyone else spends an entire lifetime making theirs. And two, cool, I just found out her name. Jeff asks her if she lives all by herself and oh, please, no, please don't let this be like one of those Wattpad stories. We cut to Jeff and Nellie at her house. Jeff looks around her house and Nellie is still shocked at the thought that a murderer is a guest in her house. And, oh, that, that's it. <laughs> Nelly thinks to herself that Jeff is gonna kill her and tries to come up with some sort of plan. Alright Nelly, I can see that you're in a pickle, so I'll give you a simple solution. So you build the time machine, go back to when Jeff was a baby, and you send him to the Shadow Realm. Simple and easy. What do you think? She considers dialing 911 and... Wait, what in the better call Saul? Why do they have color in this panel and none of the others? Well, at least I know Nellie is blonde, which explains all of her terrible decisions thus far. She starts overthinking about the situation she's in, making her more nervous and... Oh, that's it. You know, these episodes seem to end a little too abruptly. Something happens one second, and the next it just cuts- 
Jeff is standing idly, probably thinking about all the Wattpad fanfictions he's been in, when all of a sudden he's confronted by some random chicken. Jeff appears to have some sort of fear of chickens, and the chicken goes goblin mode. After that, the chicken... Wait, wait, th th that's it? Again? Bro, I used this absolute banger as background music for this three second long chapter? No, no, I'm still using it. I don't care what anyone says. Nellie heard the commotion going on in the kitchen, and she instantly goes Super Saiyan. Jeff and the chicken are about to have the ultimate showdown, however, Nellie stops the fight from happening. Nellie, why are you so worried about that chicken? We all know that chicken would have ragdolled Jeff if given the chance. In this episode, Nellie and Jeff have a standoff. That... that... that's it. The standoff continues as Jeff realizes just how tiny Nelly is. Hey bro, what do you mean by this? <laughs> Jeff starts saying she's pretty lucky to meet him when he's not exactly in a killing mood. His thoughts are interrupted by her yelling at him to stop staring at her. Oh no, what's with that look in her eyes? And oh no! He feels the same way? Bro, please, I don't want to see any wacky deviant art drawing today. Alright, so this episode starts with Jeff wondering why he's feeling all tingly in his heart. Nellie yells at him, asking if he thinks she's a joke. Jeff drops the axe, asking her if she's motivated by fear or if she's a killer just like him, and Nellie is shocked. Okay, how many episodes do I have left? Wait. I I'm at chapter 10? I I'm done! I'm done! Yeah! My goodness, this was just terrible. I'm sorry if you enjoyed this webtoon and are offended, but... Wait. No, I'm not! This is hot garbage! There are plenty of other things on webtoon that are infinitely better than this. This right here is not it. The art is honestly average at best, so I can't give much props for that. And I am not saying I can do better. My drawing is straight up doo-doo. If you guys are artists, tell me what you think of its art in the comments. Anyways, what else do I say? You know what? I'm just gonna finish this video because I do not want to talk about this roleplay of a webtoon any longer. Final statement? Boo! 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 Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching this video in its entirety. If you guys like this video, then please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you guys have any video suggestions or any other webtoons you want me to look at, then please leave it in the comments section below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.